Hi, I'm Simon from Red Ferret and are you sometimes running out of space on your Mac or on your PC and you're like, wow, an SSD costs a lot of money? What about an HDD? This is my Passport Ultra HDD for four, yes, four terabytes from uh, WD and it's very cheap. The price is over here. And yeah, that is very cheap in my opinion for four terabytes. But is it any good for editing? That's the main question for me. So of course you have your WD security or WD backup, uh, which you can use this for. Uh, you have all those options and this is compatible with Mac and with Windows as well. It's pre-installed for Windows. So for Mac you'll need to format it uh, so that it can run on Mac as well, of course. So inside the box you get a technical support and warranty guide. We don't need that. The cable as well. And of course the hard drive and this has a motor inside so you'll hear it. It makes a little bit of noise. Regularly, regularly. So I regularly, so I normally use this drive. This is also from, from WD. This is an SSD with one terabyte of storage. Of course this is four times the storage but it's also four, st four times less the price. So HDD storage is way cheaper than SSD storage, but of course SSD is way faster than HDD, but does it make any difference when editing on a uh, fully spec'd out, I have to say it's a fully spec'd out MacBook Pro, uh, does that make any difference? Of course it's um, USB 3.0, so uh, we all know that's the fastest one around, this one as well. So you have both over here, so uh, my regular passport and my passport for terabyte as well. And I already did some testing. I have to say when editing this thing, um, it doesn't make any difference. If you're using an SSD or an HDD, editing is very smooth with both. So if you're re really looking for some extra space, if you're an editor, if you're a photographer, definitely go for an HDD if you have a good computer at least. Um, you won't have any problems. I don't have any problems whatsoever. I'm going to just show you guys over here. So for example, Red Ferret videos. And this of course is now all coming from the HDD, so Premiere is reading this from this HDD drive, not from my computer itself as you can see, so this is the HDD drive. And Premiere is reading this and there is absolutely no um, speed difference whatsoever compared to an SSD as you can see. There it is already and uh, it works perfectly, so very smooth, very fast. Playback as well as you can see, so uh, no problem whatsoever, very nice. However, one big difference is the read and write speed. Of course, the read and write speed of this one is way faster than the read and write speed of this one. Um, if I have to import some videos from my SD card, it takes longer to uh, import them on this drive than it does on the SSD. So that's something you have to take in consideration. Uh, reading and writing speed is slower. But if you're using this for editing, it's very nice. So the main question is, of course, and I already asked that question a lot of times myself, should you buy an HDD for editing? I went and searched the web uh, for people who told me if it was good or not, but nobody really answered my question. They uh, really got really deep into the specs and I didn't understand everything. I just wanted to know if I use this, if I put my files on there, if I put my Premiere Pro files on there, and if I edit from this drive, will Premiere Pro run slower? It does not run slower. It runs as fast as the SSD. So actually, don't spend the extra money on the SSD while you can spend the same amount of money for a much bigger drive, HDD. Of course, read and write speed is slower. That taken in consideration. But the fact that Premiere Pro runs smoothly is just uh, very nice for me. I really like that. 4 terabytes of storage and uh, it costs a, less, a lot less more than the SSD. Alright, if you have any questions or comments about this video, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be very glad to help you or uh, answer them. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. If you didn't, leave a dislike and tell us why so we can improve our videos. And I hope I'll see you. Yes, you, you that are watching this behind your computer screen or behind your phone, I don't know, in our next video. Bye bye.